So this right here is my current gaming PC. And as you can see, it's not the best. So that's why a week ago, I literally went broke trying to buy my dream gaming PC. I spent over $3,500 on this gaming PC. And today, I'm going to finally be building it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's get straight into this video. First, we got the motherboard out the box and got it ready on my table to start the build. And we got the i9 13900K out the box. And we're ready to put it into the motherboard. After unboxing the CPU, you basically have to align the small little triangle on the bottom left into the holder. And then you have to put it in really delicately. And then gravity should do the job and push it in itself. All right, guys. So it turns out I was being a complete idiot the whole time. I basically have to move the black cover now. So I just moved the cover now. So I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. It took me a while to figure that out. But uh, now I know. Okay. Everything should be good now. So let's go ahead and continue with the build. Just like that, we are already done with the first two steps. So that was pretty easy. And then it was time to put in the 32 gigabyte DDR5 RAM. So now it's time to install the RAM into the motherboard. So let's go ahead and open it up. And let's start installing it. Guys, if you have any tips for me for my future PC builds, let me know. Because I am a noob at this and it's my first time. So, you know, don't roast me. I'm trying to learn. Putting the RAM in is pretty easy. You need to open up the second and fourth slot to put the RAM in. I just put a little bit of pressure. And just like that, the RAM was in. Now, let's go ahead and open up the RAM and put it into the motherboard. In total, we got 64 gigabytes of RAM. So, we got the RAM out of the box. Now, let's go ahead and place it in. So, we got the first RAM stick in. Now, let's put the second one in. So, I just took the sticker off the RAM because I think you're supposed to do that. So, now let's put the second uh, stick of RAM. We're going to put in A2 and B2, I think. So, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna skip one for each uh, piece of RAM. All right, so I think we installed the RAM correctly. And then it was time to put in the one terabyte SSD. So I had to take off the magnetic cover, which my motherboard had. Then I had to unscrew this other little black cover. And then I could put in my SSD. Putting the SSD in was pretty easy. I just have to push it in and then the job was done. Now it's time to install the M.2 SSD right here. So now let's go ahead and install it. There is the M.2 SSD right here, one terabyte. So let's go ahead and take off the cover for it. Let's put it over here. And now we gotta screw this off right here. After I was done putting the SSD in, I quickly went to the living room to unbox the PC. Case. All right, so we got the motherboard pretty much set up. So now let's go ahead and unbox the PC case right here. It's the Lee and Lee O11 Dynamic Evo. We got the all white one, so it should be looking pretty sick. So let's go ahead and unbox it so we can continue on with the build. So now let's unbox my thermal take power supply right here. So let's go ahead and open it up and let's see how this thing looks. In person, all right? Okay, there you go. All right, there it is, the beautiful thermal tank power supply. This thing is so heavy, but there it is right there. All right, so let's go ahead and let's install this thing. Oh, come with the little kit right here. We got a bunch of cables in here. Oh my God. All right, there are so much wires. I'm not gonna lie, kind of intimidating, but um, let's go ahead and let's do this, all right? There is so much wire, wow. All right, so go ahead and connect this now. So I think it's supposed to go like this right here. All right, so we got the, these first couple of cables in. I have no idea what I'm doing, if so I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Let's go ahead and speed through this, but I'll be back once I'm done with it. It took me a bit, but we got all the cables plugged into the power supply. So now it's time to connect it to the motherboard or do whatever we need to do next. So yeah, we got that done. So let's go with that. It's another success. And while I was in the living room, I quickly set up the power supply. It was pretty easy. All you have to do is basically just align the pins into the box. And mine was fully modular, so it didn't come all connected to us. So I had to put it in myself. And I had to watch a video for it. But other than that, it was pretty easy. All right, so now we have to connect the 24 pin uh, little cable into the motherboard now. All right, so we got it plugged in now. Boom, we got the power supply plugged. Then let's go. After that, I start to install all the fans into the case. So I start to screw them into the holder one by one. And before you knew it, they're all done inside the case. Also, we got the power supply inside. We just got to screw in a couple more screws. But yeah, I'm gonna just record myself doing it now because I feel like I skipped a lot. We got to screw in the power supply so it does not move. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Guys, I'm honestly, is this honestly a bit easier than I thought? I was actually expecting something like really complicated, but I don't, I don't know if I got to the hard part yet. So I don't want to talk too soon. All right, let's put in this last little screw right here. Oops. Yeah. All right, so let me show you guys something. So right here, look at all these cables. I don't want to sort these out, but it is super, super, like, it's super, super messy right now. But hopefully we can fix that. So uh, let's, hopefully uh, this doesn't stay here for the whole build. All right, let's go ahead and put these little cable ties inside the PC so we can match the cables a little bit at least. All right, so now I'm just putting these little cable ties so I can organize the cable management a little bit. So now I'll just move all these cables slowly up here. All right, just organize the cables. I'll be back in a bit. And then I have to connect the power supply cables into the motherboard. So I have to connect the 24 pin into the 24 pin pin holder in the motherboard and then i think it was eight pins that i had to plug into the other side of the motherboard and i don't want to get too much into detail but there's a bunch of other cables i have to plug into the motherboard but i don't want to go into detail because it's kind of boring for some of you guys but it was pretty annoying plugging in the wires because it takes a long time and since i'm a noob i had to figure everything out one by one and watch some videos but i got it done and then it was finally time to unbox the 4070 ti putting the 4070 ti into the motherboard was easier than expected you just have to put a little bit of pressure 
and it'll just lock in. But before you actually put it, you have to unscrew these two little latches on the side of the PC. But those are pretty easy to do also. Just look how sick that looks right there. God, that actually looks beautiful, bro. Let's go ahead and take it out, and I want to show you guys how, I want to take out the box to see how it fully looks. Right there, this thing is huge, bro. It's actually massive. Oh, it looks amazing. After that was pretty much done, so I took it to the living room to try to turn it on, and uh, this is what happened. All right, so after hours and hours of hard work, we are finally done with this gaming PC. It was literally $3,500, and I literally got a couple heart attacks during this video. I actually bought a couple wrong pieces, and I had to return them and put the new ones in, so that's why it's a couple days later. But yeah, I am pretty dumb, and I'm a new guy making PCs, but we're, we're finally done. So I'm excited to show you guys how this looks. So let's go ahead and turn on the PC and show you guys how much of a beast this thing is and how crazy it looks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. It's a pretty different video on my channel. Make sure to like and subscribe. We're getting so close to 400k subscribers. And uh, yeah. And yeah, let's go ahead and turn on this PC and show you guys what it looks like in full effect. Three, two, one, go! Yup, this is how the PC looks, boys. This is absolutely insane. We got, we got the Kraken X which we all expect. We got this PC maxed out, and it absolutely looks amazing. I honestly love how this PC came out. It looks super amazing, and honestly, it looks better than I even imagined. I mean, we got the 10 fans, three on the top, three on the side, and three on the bottom, and then one on the side right there. I changed the RAM color, the cable color, the fan color, and even the cooler color. So I can literally do anything I want with this PC and make it any color or vibe that I want. But right now, I just made it blue. Let me know what you guys think of this PC build. And let me give me any tips and tricks for the future. If you guys want more PC videos, you know, come along and enjoy my channel. But honestly, I can't stop looking at this thing, bro. It looks absolutely insane. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.